Hey going everybody, or well, thanks for tuning into my video blog. For all those who don't know, please subscribe to the page. I blog about urine therapy as I'm making a film. Now today um, I'm joined here with Zoe. She's uh, an expert in cosmetics and worked in the industry for quite some time. And a lot of my research was done on urea, which is a component of urine, and that is found in a lot of cosmetic products. Now originally this, this was actually um, made well, by using real organic compound urea, which was made of urine, these days it's synthesized. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that product and how it's synthesized. So how is the product synthesized these days? Uh, products are synthesized um, in skincare through laboratories. Uh, they're derived from plants and various uh, food components, and that's how they're synthesized. They're synthetic as in powder form. Um, or they come in liquid, so that's how they're brought into the product. And they usually are designed to um, hydrate the skin, so that's what urea was designed to do. Because um, urea is a natural, it's a natural, natural lock-in moisturiser, so therefore yes. a lot of these cosmetic companies put it in their product, but they don't advertise that. Why, why is that, you think? They don't want to use this as a selling point. Um, I think because the thought of having a product that is an organ or anything that sounds like it's from an organ or a body part or from an animal can make people feel a little bit uneasy. Um, it means that they're taking it from an animal so that you know, you'll get a lot of activists and people who disagree with the uh, use of animal-based products um, who won't you know, want to buy it. Um, so it's a negative connotation yeah. whenever you sort of bring anything that's related to an organ or um, that sounds like it's from an organ or a human body or from um, or an animal. So I think that's probably why you don't get a lot of uh, specialists or people in the field or industry talk about it. Now urea on itself as your own perfect uh, product is organic and you could use that as your own skin moisturiser and it also helps heal scars and things. Correct. But a lot of people don't know that being in a cream, if you actually read a lot of the labels, it does say urea. Now, a lot of this, this product, I mean, we talked about this prior off this camera about how a lot of these uh, animals are made and they're putting them in vats and boiling them up and so forth. Yes. Um, Can we talk about that because that sounds yeah, pretty gross. It is pretty gross and it's still happening um, today with a lot of uh, your very major, high prestigious companies. I mean, I can mention a few, obviously. Uh, the French ones, as we all know, still use um, uh, a lot of animal byproducts. Which um, what happens is um, the you know I mean obviously after an animal is is used for food consumption, the remains have to go to a uh, a boiling plant um, factory where the carcasses could be from you know roadkill, could be from could be um, your pet could be your, your pet, pet yeah oh. obviously being put yeah. down at a veterinary clinic um, various places where they need to eliminate, it's like an elimination process. So instead of putting it underground, they put it through this um, boiling plant where all the actual, um, I know this is gonna sound very uneasy for people to hear, but all the, um, the carcass is boiled and the remaining parts, which are dislodged, which is the bones, the remaining parts are your organs and the fats. And what they're wanting to do is to skim the fat once it's been boiled, scrape the fats off because then it's no longer um, unhygienic because it's been going through the boiling process. Then it's stored, put into um, put into containers, taken to the laboratory, and it's been taken, um, obviously, and used into um, skincare products to help with the moisture and for hydration. So that's what they use it for. And it's still used, like it's at, we yeah. are using, still carrying animal-based products, um, a lot of these cosmetic companies won't talk about it because... Well, we don't know what's in them. Do we, we don't know where yeah. it's come from, and sometimes they don't know either. So, um, But generally, the laboratories do know because they're the ones who are ordering it from these um, boiling plants. So the synthetic urea is not made of the animal, it's actually laboratory made, is it different? Uh, look, it's hard to say, it might be still made. We wouldn't know. Uh, there's no regulations and legislations to sort of stop those sort of things from happening. Um, there are obviously legislations for things that are medicinal, like your vitamins and medicines and your sunscreens, because it's obviously a medicine. And so 
So you have a governing body like TGA in Australia or FDA in America who would probably say this is what we suggest you use. You can't make claims that something's medicinal without having it been tested with the legislation. But those things like, um, you know, fat products, which are, you know, the fat skimmed off the actual animals that we see yeah. in a lot of skincare products aren't talked about and they're not governed. So, we, you know, nobody would really know. And it's not going to be advertised on the actual ingredient listing. So the motto to this is, why would you use a cream that could be made of an animal product that's been boiled down when you've got your own perfect urine, which works just as well. You could age it, rub it on your skin, massage it, and you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on fancy creams. Well, look, I think we're very much um, into marketing and feeling good and looking great, and it's a very big uh, million-dollar market out it there is. for people. I'll put you out of business. <laughs> exactly. You could do that, definitely, and uh, there'd be no clients, and we'd all sort of have nothing. We'd be out of jobs. Um, we'd be out of jobs, but someone's going to make the cream. Yeah. So, I mean, we could all go into our kitchen and, and use ingredients and make our own products, which we technically can. It's just time consuming. Uh, the lasting dates are very short, so you would have a, a shorter t a term of or lifespan on, on the actual cream if it is made organic without any preservatives. Well, I give it up to you. It's your choice whether you use a inexpensive two hundred dollar cream or your own urine. Well, thanks, <laughs> Zoe. Thanks for joining. Pleasure. Keep Thank watching you. for another update on urine therapy and also the film. Thanks. Thank Bye. You.